Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Seb's SMS. Yes, raw voice, but it doesn't matter. I'm sending you this message about your driver. Yes, your drivers, I'm going to give you five of your drivers. If you want to know what they are, who they are, how do they show up into your life, stay tuned because at the end of the episode, I want you to send me a pecking order. You know what? Stay tuned. This is the message I'm sending you. You better catch it. Come on, let's go. Sebastian Bastogne is now very much the Anglo Fire of the Morning Session. Death, death, death. I'm sending you a message. Better catch it. But when it comes to the football, you guys, talk to me real quick. What's going on? Wagwan, my people. Wagwan Popcorn. Like, it's my daughter and their friends. They keep saying that. Wagwan Popcorn. You know what? Youngsters, innit? But, yeah, your drivers. That's what I want to talk about. What is a driver? You know, the, the science, the research have shown that in our life, you know, we've been sent messages. Uh, not, not really constructive messages that came, kept coming into our head that shapes the way we behave, the way we think. You know what? That, that creates an impulse, a major, major impulse that drives our behavior, that drives our, our action, even our thought process. So this is what I want to talk about because I want you to, once again, every now and then, you know, we go deep into who you are, how, you, how you're how wired. And I want to express it to you in a different way sometimes. But don't, don't, I hope you can hear me well because if you follow me on Insta and social media, you know I lost my voice last week. And it keeps coming back slowly but surely. But first one, let me give you the five drivers and you tell me what you think, honestly. And those are, I say that again, messages, right? Wrong messages. The first one is hurry up, be quick. Hurry up, be quick. This is the message that is sent, it's been sent to you. I want you to ask yourself, what was the communication into your life? Maybe in your household when where your parents or, I don't know, around you, people around you were telling you, be quick, do it quick, come on, hurry up. So that shaped the way you are now. You want to do things quick, not because you're a weirdo, but because that's the message that's been sent to you. For, for a major part of your maybe childhood, but with that message, there's always a false promises that if you do it quick, you know, if you do it quick, Everything can be done. You will have time to get to do everything if you do it quick. So therefore, now unconsciously you do everything quick, but that shapes your character. You know, like you not, yeah, you don't give time to people. We're not, we're not the same as you. So, is be quick, hurry up. One of your driver, second driver, be strong. <laughs> be strong. One of mine, I'm not gonna lie. Be strong, it's your dad, your mom, I don't know, in your neighborhood, people always told you to be strong. So that shaped the way you think. So therefore now you're not even very tolerant. That being the character, a very intolerant character. You're not really open-minded, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Sorry, open-minded, you kind of rigid, and there's always a false promises as it's been created, that you're gonna always gonna have to prove that you're strong. You always wanna prove that you're strong. Everything you do, you have to show it, I'm strong. And if you don't, you feel bad. That's how we're becoming, we're feeling the imposter syndrome because when we don't answer our drivers, we feel like an imposter. Third one, guys, let me tell you, it's be perfect. You have to be perfect. You're always being told into your head. You know, you heard that all your time, all the time. Perfect the way you dress. No, you're going to look a certain way. You're going to look perfect when you go out. So therefore, when you're growing up, now you're as a grown-up adult, this is one of your driver. Everything has to be perfect. You know, you, you never ask yourself, where did I come from? It's one of your driver. It's in any situation you are in, unconsciously, that's going to import, that's an impulse. That's going to be ah, the first thing you think about. I have to be perfect. 
but there's always a false promises that you're going to be able to be perfect 100% of the time, which is wrong. So easy one of your driver. Another one is please people. Be nice. Please, please people. Listen to me. Oh, you're going to please people. This is crazy. But where did that come from? Is that one of the inputs, one of your driver? Think that unconsciously you drive things with that. This is what you're starting with. I want you to ask yourself, do there's these false promises once again that you can please everyone? You're a people pleaser, but you got to ask yourself, where does that come from? How does it show up into your life? On the football pitch, that's exactly the same. Why are you driving your action the way you drive your action? Think about it. And the last one, you got, it's um, do more, do it more, make some effort. You know, I want more. You think that because you've been told that all your life, that because you hit, you hit, you hit the same place, you keep hitting to certain places, is going to work. That's the false promises. But is it one of your driver? Are you thinking like that? And the, for me, all of them, they're wrong messages because we're not using them well. So, but is doing more one of your driver? I want you to ask yourself that. And I want you now, the challenge of the day is to give me your first free. You're pecking order. Think about it and realize how how toxic it can become in your life. That keeps you in a trap. That traps you. you that keeps you in a box because you want to do everything quick. You're driving quick. Oh, yeah, it's true. I want to be perfect. I want to look perfect. I don't want to look bad in front of people. Looking good, looking bad. Avoiding looking bad. That's your driver. Be perfect. Please, people. As soon as you're going to have more awareness about that, even on the football pitch, you're going to be able to expand and to become better and to not get trapped with what's been told the message has been sent to you throughout all your life because when you get into that green rectangle what does that represent your life and your life only take what is yours i'm telling you take what's yours i've been led by my driver because of my voice i didn't want to let it go i wanted to be strong and i know i'm aware that so i've i cut myself some slack because I've realized that I don't have to be strong all the time. But what about you? The power, the strength, the happiness, the health, the wealth, the self-awareness, the let go, the money, the family, the, the smile, you know, the, the sensitivity, the authenticity. Guys, you know the drill. We don't only take it. What we're doing, we snatch it and snatch, you snatch it the way you snatch it. The way I snatch it is might be different, but we still snatch it. You take it because it's yours. No matter how you want to take it, take what is yours. That was your boy, Seba Song, aka Baby Bass, always here to serve you. Even with my voice, I committed myself to you. I have to deliver. Listen, we're together, we're a team, okay? I'm your coach, I'm your friend, I'm your brother, whatever you want, not your sister. I'm your brother, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. In the meantime, I'm going to go and rest my voice and I'm going to work to do. You know what? Take what is yours. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.